there is no logic to it. There's no way we can be with, with billions of people thinking they're clung to a ball spinning at ridiculous speeds upside down, inside out, in every other direction. It is absurd to those of us with eyes to see and ears to hear. Just as what we believe is absurd to those clinging to that ball spinning, whirling, twirling, dizzy, upside down, and, and so confused they literally don't know which end is up. Literally, they think there is no up and down. This is exactly how we were told it would be. If the Bible is lies, why did it clearly point this out to us? Again, Matthew 10, 34 through 36. Think not that I come to bring peace on earth, but a sword. Your own family will turn against you. Will be your foe. People that are still denying Jesus, denying the Bible. If you think you fully got your mind wrapped around God and what he does and his wisdom... Hello, you're trying to be God. I just need to do what he guides me to do. Even though I'm blunt, it's what I need to be saying. I'm not perfect in my delivery, but I'm also not the one coming up with the message to deliver. As I read in the Bible again, it says, don't think about what you're going to say. God will, will say it through you. God will use me as his tool to reveal the truth that those that can't comprehend the flat earth because they don't have the eyes to see and the ears to hear yet many of them will absolutely when his time comes when he reveals it to them because it's God's plan it's his playbook then flat earth came along okay now we're starting to make some sense and especially as i started to talk about it and saw the supernatural spell and delusion that people are under the overwhelming majority do not have the eyes to see and ears to hear all they can hear is lucifer's lies for now those that do have the eyes and ears will continue to warn will continue to be used as God's tools until enough awaken and his will be done it has to go this way your friends, your family the majority of people pretty much everybody you know will turn against you and the more they do, the more you must strengthen your resolve rather than let them weaken it. It's not a insult. It's not anything other than that's what God's telling you through me and others. With my heart and soul, everything I tell you, I believe is absolute truth. And I believe the message comes from the Almighty Yahweh. He is speaking to you through us tools, us nobodies, us servants of him. We are simply the voice boxes he is speaking through. This doesn't mean we're special. It doesn't mean we're anything but just tools, like a screwdriver, like a hammer. He just loves us just like he loves you. Otherwise, he wouldn't demand we share the message. He wouldn't compel us to come out here and be belittled and berated and insulted and threatened and ridiculed and everything else that comes along with it. Persecuted. If you are being persecuted, you are on the right path. God bless you for it. Pray for strength. 
pray for the full armor of God because we're going to need it. God bless you all.